Christmas. Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see you. And the, all the moms and grannies, happy Mother's Day today. May the Lord bless you, spoil you. And walking into it, but praise the Lord. And anyway, happy birthday as well to TJ Rolanda's son. He's 11 tomorrow. Jordy Cleland is 100 this week. Gail Gamble, Laura Martin, Jean Plunkett, happy birthday to you all. And also Pastor Tommy was 36 years saved on Wednesday. So praise the Lord. Amen. We've got a lot to be thankful for. They saw the light. They saw the light. And praise the Lord. Let's sing together and worship the King and then we'll remember him in the name of the Lord Jesus. I've wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I would let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more darkness, no more light. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Just like a blind man. Just like a blind man, I wandered alone. Worries and fears, I blame for my own. Then like a blind man, he called it by his side. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, I saw the light. I saw the light. No more darkness, no more light. Be no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord. I saw. Oh, come on, I wonder. I wonder. So aimless, like a human sin. I would let my dear Savior in. And Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the one with your conquer home. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more light. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Praise the Lord. We saw the light and our lives were changed forever. This is a great day. It's Mother's Day, but it's also the Lord's Day. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy Worship name. His name. Sing like me. Your holy, your holy name. name. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing. Thousand reasons for my heart to 
I'll worship your holy name. And on that day, when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise nobody like you today. We worship you, Lord. We praise your name. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. In your car, just forget about everybody and just worship the King and the beauty of holiness. Amen and amen. Praise be to God. We remember folks today in prayer. Andy Houston is in Hollywell at the moment. Just pray for Andy that the Lord will look after him today. Had he also went through her operation, Mad Smith is through also. She's back at home. Josie McKeown is in hospital. Three girls in Scotland, Lorraine and two Liz's. Both, all have got illnesses. Don Montgomery and the young lad Jordan that we've been praying for that went through the windscreen of a car. He's, been, he's out of intensive care and he's progressing. His mommy sent me a photograph of him before and after and he's made a remarkable recovery but there's a long way to go. So come on, let's worship the Lord and thank him for his goodness. And if you have an unspoken request, lift your hand today. Father, we come to gather in the name of Jesus. Those in the car park, in their cars, in the driving. Those at home, Lord, watching, Lord, shielding, maybe housebound. Father, will you give them the same portion as you're giving us? And Lord, as we come around your table today, we bring all the sick, the unspoken requests, the cry of the heart. And Lord, we pray will you touch every single one. Susan Waddell as well, Lord, not well. Another name to list. We just pray, Lord, your touch upon your people, Lord. Now, Lord, as we gather around your table, Lord, will you just draw close to us. May each and every one of us be conscious that we're not alone, that you're with us, that your presence is real and that your name is great father i ask these things in jesus name you know all the trouble last night lord in england lord with that vigil the troubles in america lord and even the troubles in our own country we just commit them to you lord bring good out of it all in the name of jesus amen praise the lord the same night in which the Lord Jesus was betrayed. Even that word just sounds sore. 
he took bread and when he given thanks he said take eat this this is my body given for you as he gave it to the disciples he said do this in remembrance of me after the same manner he also took the cup and when he had subbed saying this cup was a new covenant shed for many in my blood for the remission forgiveness of sins for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you personally do show the Lord's death till he comes that's why we're here today yes we're celebrating Mother's Day but we're also celebrating the Lord's Day so let's come together tell him you love him in your car tell him you love him at home watching you're joining in with us he took bread a symbol of his body given for you on that cross hallelujah thank you Jesus also took the cup symbol of his precious blood given for you and for me to cleanse us from our sins thank you Lord yes. Jesus for your sacrificial love at Calvary praise the Lord Hallelujah, I must I worship you, Lord. I survey wondrous cross oh bless your name Thank you for your the wondrous cross there's power and deliverance hallelujah when I serve the
sitting in our cars because of you blessed be your holy name today Lord we love you we love you tell him you love him in your car just just let him know what you think of him blessed be the name of Jesus Hallelujah. if you've got a Bible will you turn with me to Matthew's gospel chapter 15 just a wee thought about Mother's Day and I pray it will bless you a mother deserves to be loved amen and all the mothers and grandmothers shouted in their cars hallelujah amen Matthew chapter 15 I hope you'll enjoy this this really blessed me when I read it during the week verse 21 then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Don't forget that. And behold a woman of Canaan. Remember the Canaanites? Came from that region and cried out to him. Saying have mercy on me. O Lord son of David. My daughter is severely demon possessed. But he answered her not a word. That's puzzled, puzzled me. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him. Here's a stranger saying, Lord, help me. Three words, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Beautiful, beautiful. Father, bless your word today to all of our hearts and glorify your son, the Lord Jesus. A mother deserves to be loved. This is Mother's Day 2021 and the mothers are spoiled today. Linda was spoiled last night and the boys came in and brought her wee gifts. Brought me nothing, but they brought her gifts. But a mother deserves to be loved watch verbally tell her why she's still alive tomorrow maybe too late she deserves to be loved physically 
Mothers give out so many hugs. She deserves one herself today. In fact, lots. Specifically, when you realize what she does for everyone, it's nice to appreciate what she does for you. Attentively, she's always attending to you. But there'll come a time when you'll need to attend to her. I watch my mum with all of us. Always there for us in the good times and the bad. Yet the roles reversed, especially for our Margaret. When mum went into Margaret's nursing home, my mum thought she was still in the house and she used to answer the phone in the nursing home. <laughs> but also she loved gratefully. Do you know the science teacher was describing magnets and how objects were attracted to them. And the teacher ended with a question. She said, what has six letters? It starts with an M and picks up things. What am I? And 50% of the kids wrote, mother. <laughs> Not the magnet. Tell your mother and your grandmother today, thanks for everything. Also, she's the beloved generously. There's nothing too good for her. We could never repay her, but we ought to die trying before she does. She doesn't spend on herself unless all our needs are met first. She does without so we can have. She always, always eats last, usually the leftovers. She changes her schedule to accommodate ours. She sacrifices her opportunities so we can have ours. And finally, she's to be loved honorably. It's the fifth commandment, Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor your father and mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God gives to you. If you honor your mother, God will honor you. That's a promise. No wonder Lord Shaftesbury declared, Give me a generation of Christian mothers. And I shall undertake to change the face of society in 12 months. Remember the wee Irish man was asked, how did he cope in his life? He says, well, I was brought up on, on the knees of a devoted father and over the knees of a determined mother. And the wee lad in Sunday school was asked about his good behavior. He says, that's easy. My mother was on speaking terms with God and spanking terms with me. Maybe not allowed to say that anymore. I believe that's why there is a concerted attack today on the family, traditional marriage, and gender. It's Satan's ploy to destroy what God has ordained and instituted. A nation can be no stronger than its mothers. I don't know who quoted it, but it's a great quote. That's the kind of mother who came to Jesus in our reading. The Lord Jesus, if you read the beginning of the chapter, after a run-in with his critics, he left his own area and crossed over into Tyre and Sidon and entered a house. He wandered away from controversy and crowds. Mark's account in chapter 7, verse 24 says a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him and she came and fell at his feet. He wanted no one to know it, but he could not be hid. Brother and sister, if you're watching online and in your car, you can't hide Jesus. Jesus can't be hid. Like iron filings to that magnet, People will always find out where he is and be automatically drawn to him for help. Notice also for a moment, the Lord Jesus left his own area and entered Tyre and Sidon. He left the safety of his home and entered Gentile or dangerous territory. He left his own home and went to the other side of the fence. I, he, a Jew, entered what we would call bonded country. And behold, in verse 22, 
a woman of Canaan. Remember, Canaanites were Israel's old enemies. She came and cried out to him saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. Here's a mother, or here's the mother, that I want to present to you today. I want you to notice three things about her. I see a mother's pain. Number two, I see a mother's prayer. And number three, I see a mother's persistence. A mother's pain. Do you know what I love about this wee woman? The answer simply is, her daughter's problem was her problem. Did you get that? In verse 22, Lord, have mercy on me. My daughter, my daughter is severely demon-possessed. Brother and sister, her daughter's pain was her pain. Her daughter's torment was her torment. Yet as soon as she heard about Jesus, she knew where to come. She heard about Jesus who actually healed the sick, cleansed the leper, raised the dead eye and cast out demons. So she came and she cried out to him for her daughter. But in verse 23, it says he answered her not a word. Also, his disciples urged him to send her away. For she cries out after us. The word cried and the word cries actually mean she was screaming for help. She was screaming, brother and sister, for help. I'm lost for words here. Jesus answered her not a word. Everything. Now listen, mom. Everything seemed to be against this mother. Her nationality. She was a Gentile. Jesus, a Jew. Her gender. Women didn't speak to men publicly. Especially rabbis. Satan was against her. He was controlling, tormenting and torturing her daughter. And the disciples wanted to send her away. Where I don't know whether they were protecting Jesus or not wanting to, a, a commotion or just not wanting to help her because she was from the other side. And then fifthly, even the Lord Jesus seemed to be against her. In verse 24, he said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Folks, that meant nothing to this mother. This devoted mother, her daughter was a lost sheep, a tormented soul, a slave of Satan, and she needed to be set free, and only he could do it. To this desperate mother, her demon-possessed daughter was more important than religious racism or prejudice. Her own religion had failed her. And Satan was destroying her daughter. And now Jesus has knocked her back by his silence. So she doesn't give up. She pleads again as a distressed mother. Can you feel this mother's pain even by your listening to this message? Can you feel her pain? Can you hear? Can you hear? Because secondly, we see a mother's prayer. She says in verse 22, have mercy upon me, O Lord. And then in verse 25, she came and worshipped, saying, Lord, help. Lord, help me. By the way, worship there means she fell on her knees at Jesus' feet, pleading for her daughter. He answers, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Dogs? Is Jesus calling her a dog? Aye, but there's two words for dogs in the New Testament. There's one, pariah, which is a wild, vicious scavenger dog. And the other one is kunarian, and it means a little puppy dog. 
The word worship also means to kiss the hand. Listen, in strong concordance, like a dog licking his master's hand. He's actually responding affectionately to this desperate mother. But also, she's not given up still. Now we see her as a determined mother. And thirdly, we see a mother's persistence. She says, listen to this answer. Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Wow, what an answer. And the Lord Jesus responds brilliantly. He says in verse 28, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. From her faith and with a word from Jesus. And her daughter was set free in an instant. And the Lord Jesus actually commended her love for her daughter. The persistence of love. Do you know 1 Corinthians 13? Love bears all things. That's the strength of love. Love believes all things. That's the sincerity of love. Love hopes all things. That's the sense of love. And love endures all things. That's the stamina of love. Love never fails. He commanded her love. He commanded her wise response. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And she had it for that moment. And thirdly, he, he commanded her great faith. Faith that believes and faith that receives the impossible. The greatness of faith can be measured, brother and sister, by the obstacles it overcomes. Nothing, nothing was in this mother's favor, yet she overcame. Finally, we see her as a delighted mother. A mother's pain, watching her daughter tormented by Satan. A mother's prayer overcame all her barriers. A mother's persistence, she wouldn't take no for an answer. And that brought the breakthrough. Jesus commanded her, I, and he healed and delivered her demon-possessed daughter. Isn't that beautiful? Can I hear an amen out there to the Lord Jesus and the persistence of love of that wee mother? A mother's pain. I'll never forget the look on my mother's face the day the security forces took me away. With tears in her eyes, she said, Tell them, son, you didn't do anything. A mother's prayer, sitting behind the visiting table in Crumlin Road Jail and Long Case, listening to me declaring for God in Ulster. My mum said in tears, Son, Satan's got a hold of you, but I'm praying for you. So's Dad and everybody in Canada and in our church. I'm not giving up on you, son. God has a purpose for you to fulfill in your life. A mother's prayer and a mother's persistence. My mom never gave up on any of her family. In fact, we, Martha McKim, went to war with the devil and served him a notice on our family. She claimed the blood of Jesus on all of us. I'm standing here today as a testimony of God's amazing grace. I am the persistence of a mother's love. And not only me, but our Margaret, and Pastor Tommy, and my brother Tommy, and Kelly, and the kids, 
are all saved and our prayers are still being answered because Lewis got saved too. Thank God this mother knew who to come to when all else failed. Her daughter's problem brought her to Jesus. The question I want to ask today to you sitting in your car or to you watching online, what brought you here today? What brought you here today? Or what is bringing you to Jesus today? Is there a distressed mother listening? Your heart's broken watching the devil tormenting your wee daughter? Is there a distraught father watching Satan torturing your wee son? Is there a distracted parent watching the enemy destroying your child? Whatever it is, drink or drugs, mental health, suicidal thoughts, marriage breakdown, unemployment, immorality, criminality, or whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. The devil is having a field day during this pandemic and lockdown and the repercussions of which will be seen in years to come. But like the persistence of this mother's love, may your problem, may your problem bring you to Jesus this morning. Mother, father, parent, let me say this from the bottom of my heart. Your daughter, your son is depending on you. Also, salvation and forgiveness and freedom, if you haven't got it, is for you too today. In Jesus' name, I urge you, Cry out like this mother did. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. Cry out. Lord help me. And he will. Do you know. 42 years ago. On Mother's Day. This disgraced wee boy. Messed up. Yes and I believe Satan. Had demonized me. But that night. On Mother's Day the 25th of March 1979 I cried out Lord help me and he did and he set me free oh brother and sister the persistence of a mother's love thank God for my mum thank God for every mum I and every grandmum as well Come on, let's praise the Lord today for mothers and His amazing grace. I sought the Lord and He answered me This poor man cried, 
Christ today. Lord, help me all around these cars, those watching online. Lord, will you hear that cry that is screaming out from the heart? Lord, help me. Lord, may people respond and may loved ones be delivered and healed today because of that cry and your answer. In Jesus' name. Lord, bless the rest of the day, the next service. And bless tonight online. Lord, will you bless the rest of the week coming. Yes. And keep your hand upon your people. And Lord, if there's someone here today, give them the courage to respond yep. and to phone the pastors or their loved ones and tell them, I cry. Lord, help me. In Jesus' lovely name. God bless you, brothers and sisters, today.